Our top story this hour takes us to Zimbabwe, where the country's uh, former finance minister, Ignatius Chombo, has been released on bail. Chombo was arrested last month after being charged with criminal abuse of office, corruption and fraud. His release comes as Zimbabwe's new finance minister announced the amendment to the current indigenization policy that resulted in investors pulling out of Zimbabwe. The country's uh, new budget was also tabled today. Zimbabwe's economy is facing unprecedented challenges on all fronts. The country's infrastructure has deteriorated. And as part of addressing these challenges, Zimbabwe's finance minister made changes to the current economic policies. This bill will amend the Indigenization and Empowerment Act in order to bring into effect the following. In the extractive sector, that is the mining. The proposed amendments will confine the 51-49% indigenization threshold to only two minerals, namely diamond and platinum. These are in the extractive sector. The 51-49% threshold will not apply to the rest of the extractive sector, nor will it apply to other sectors of the economy, we should be open to any investor regardless of nationality. He has also raised concerns about government expenditure at a time where the country is facing economic challenges. We are concerned with fiscal indiscipline and government will therefore need to embrace and adhere to the following fiscal angers. We need to manage the budget deficit for 2018 at below 4% of GDP. We need to reduce the public debt to GDP ratio to a sustainable level of not more than 70%. We need to cap government borrowing from the central bank to at most 20% of the previous year's government revenues. We need to raise on infrastructure, spending on infrastructure to 15% of total expenditure in 2018 from the current 11%. We also need to reduce the share of employment costs as a share of total revenue to 70% in 2018 from 86%, which is currently the case. China and Zimbabwe signed loans and grants valued at more than 200 million US dollars in Harare yesterday, a special envoy was sent to Zimbabwe just days after the inauguration of Emerson Mnangagwa to strengthen the relations between the two countries. The Chinese government has been committed, just like the special envoy who came a uh, uh, couple of days ago, actually, uh, who said that the China is going to continue committed to assist our good friend and brother in its development through thick and thin ever since the Zimbabwe's liberation struggles. We want to strengthen this good relationship and uh, expanding our cooperation in all the sectors. President Nangagwa has made a commitment to rebuild the country's economy. Sophie Mkwen, SABC News, Johannesburg.